Hey there, Leos. This is Lori of Your Empress Energy. I hope you are all doing well and that you've had a fantastic week. I am here to do your weekly tarot reading. These are the decks I'm planning to use. We are going to go ahead and start, though, by rolling the Zodiac die here to see what energies you may or may not be dealing with or who may be in the room with us. Okay, we've got Capricorn, some Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. All right. Lots of energy. Lots of possibilities. If you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Or welcome, welcome, I should say. <laughs> Getting my words confused already. Um, if you are a returning viewer, I want to say thank you, thank you. Either way, I want to tell each and every one of you how much I appreciate you being here. You're awesome. You are helping my channel to grow, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this deck and get two cards from it. These will tie into your actual reading. So we've got card 51. All right. Waiting by the phone. 52. Taking a leap of faith, possibly. Okay, let's go ahead and get your cards from your reading. This greenish-blue <clears throat> deck over here is uh, the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed It's not a new Oracle deck. It's been around since 2011. Um, but it is a beautiful deck, and I do love the messages that come out with it. I'm using the Light Sears deck here, <clears throat> which has been pre-shuffled. Cut with intentions, or cut and set with intentions. All right, let's go ahead. Get started here. Ten of Wands. Two of Cups. That's nice. Six of Wands. Really nice. Four of Cups. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups in reverse. Hmm, Nine of Cups. Look at all these cups. Wow. Wow, you are in your emotions this week. Boy, Leos. Uh-oh. All right, on the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. This is the energy that you were coming out of from last week. Um, this is where you're heading into for this week, overall energy. Feeling like you're ready to put all your burdens down. Um, wow. Okay, so basically, let me take a look here. I'm getting... Oh, there's a separation between you and somebody that you care deeply for. And you're feeling very apathetic. Pretty bored without this person in your life right now. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're at the nine of cups, but you can't quite get to the ten. Can't quite get there. There's a little confusion. Things are hidden from you. Hmm. You feel like you're upside down on your money. Your finances. Things are not great there. And I think that you would like to approach somebody. I'm sorry about the car in the background. It seems like everyone in my neighborhood on the back end that way he has all these micron mic yeah micron mufflers micro mufflers anyways they all make a lot of noise <laughs> maybe it was a wake-up call for some of you to pay attention i don't know <laughs> Okay, back to your reading here. I mean, you definitely have some uh, successes coming in. You've got the Six of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Um, you've got the Two of Cups, which, I mean, that talks about a person, you know, a relationship. It doesn't always have to, though. So maybe that could just be... Um, a, a balancing of things. I haven't even said, okay, come on. Let me shuffle the deck first and we'll cut it and then we'll get some clarification going here. Uh, 
I would invite you to like this uh, message if it resonates with you. Drop me a comment. Um, of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And you are always welcome to share any video with somebody that you think needs to hear a particular message. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get clarification on the Ten of Wands here. I feel like this is a separation between you and somebody you care deeply about. King of Cups. Hmm. Can I get more clarification on this, please? More clarification on the King of Cups for the Leo Collective. Whoa. Thought half the deck was going to go. Okay. While you're assessing your life, you're taking stock of your life, you're looking back over your life, your history, where you've come from, your connections. So that's that's the energy where you're at right now is just being all up in your uh, your feels about something or someone. Oh, Queen of Wands possibly. And it's it's just energy. It can be divine masculine, divine feminine. We all carry it in it, both sides of it in us. So if the king doesn't represent your energy, just take it as it's the energy, whether you're male or female, it's the energy. Okay, let's move on to the two of cups here. Let's find out what exactly is going on here. I think something was revealed and it caused you confusion. It, uh, you, hmm. And you're feeling upside down on your like overall outcome here how it's going to turn out clarification on the two of cups for the leo collective please clarification on the two of cups for the leo collective please i'm not going to keep them all the hermit defending your name standing your ground healing a communication you were feeling left out in the cold. You're gonna willing to take a fool's leap. Oh, and there's the Queen of Wands. Oops. Oh, you got choices, and you don't know which way to go. Wow. One of you will not. One of these two. People will not be the right one. Okay? Look, confusion, unhappiness, indecision, you know, just ugh, blah. And then the Ten of Cups in reverse. But we've got a secret revealed. So somebody may have come forward with their feelings for you, but they're financially strapped, but they would be your wish fulfilled. Hmm. And I can't, I'm almost saying it's this way, but it might be this way because of the money aspect. Hmm. Yeah, you did some, you got strong Virgo energy right here. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, you're ready to take a leap of faith, but you can't make up your mind. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a healing process. And then after that, you're going to be getting a communication, which I think is where you're feeling. Somebody's feelings are revealed. And they're coming in out of the cold. And yeah, that's a strong sense of coming in out of the cold. I can't. 
I can't figure out what it is that you're um, standing your ground about. Hmm. Let's put these back in the deck and see what else we get. So I'm going to put the um, fool back in here too. We'll keep the queens there because you definitely have options. Okay, you definitely have choices. <coughs> and you at least you feel, oh, look at this, two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Got that one right. Nailed that one on the head. Okay. Um, at least you feel like one of them is not going to be what you're looking for. And in order to feel victorious and like you win, you've got to walk away from something that does not serve you. And then you want to go rushing in. <laughs> Ooh. What do we have here? As a player, we have... Fast moving action, okay? And then the King of Wands shows up. You've got a Queen of Wands here. So I'm going to say that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So somebody that you're interested in has come forward to tell you that they are no longer married, that they are ending their relationship with their spouse, their long term partner. And that has got you all confused about what to do because you were pretty sure that this person was the one that you wanted to go with. You were happy with this person, but you just couldn't do it because of finances. Look at this. The Ten of Cups in reverse both times. I'm going to warn you, whoever this person is, they're not the one for you. And I am turning that right side up. Ooh. Okay. So you're going to have to walk away from somebody. You can't, you've got to make a decision here. If you want the two of cups, you have to make a choice. And the one, the choice that you make is going to be the right choice. I really do think you know exactly who you should be, um, choosing okay i can't tell you which direction to go however um yeah look ten of wands ten of wands you're ready to put your burdens down you're ready to just like start building something new with all the things that you've learned so if one of these people is from your past <clears throat> which we do have the six of cups here which speaks of someone coming out from your past and that's what it is. That's that's ex look at this. The King of Wands showed up again. That's exactly what this is telling us. Is that somebody from your past has got you reassessing your life and has you all up in your emotions. Now the king is pretty stable. Oh not, Ten of Cups showed up in the right direction this time on the opposite end of the deck. Um even the King of Cups, though, he's not oh, wishy-washy. You know, he's not, <clears throat> well, he does wear his heart on his sleeve. Hmm, let's get more information here. But yeah, that King of Wands came out again. And then look, the lovers, after somebody's watching. I think this King of Wands has been watching the situation between you and this Queen of Wands to see what's going to happen. And there's the Seven of Cups. You're getting a lot of repeat cards here, which is the universe is really trying to send you a message, Leos. Definitely. The universe, the powers that be, the divine, they're all trying to send you a message. Let's get some clarification, please, on the Four of Cups. You're wanting the ending of something. Oh, you don't want... You don't want something to end. Look who's back. You do see I'm putting him in the middle of the deck here, okay? Look, Victor, um, you will reach your goals, though. There will be a judgment call. Oh. Oh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Bunch of cards in reverse here. Um... Yeah, you don't want something to end. <clears throat> but you do want to be over this. 
And I saw that in there. I don't know what to make of this yet. I'm just getting like bits and pieces of the story. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please. Clarification. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So what we have here is the moon, which is funny. We've got the moon right there. And we've got um, the self-imposed restrictions, um, beliefs, Okay, so what I'm getting here is that because of some sort of information, <clears throat> here we are doing a lot of reflections. Cancer's reading was all reflections. Like, if the moon was there, the moon here, it was the opposite direction, facing. So it was reflections. Um, mirror imaging. Okay, what I'm getting here is that the moon, in this case right here for the Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> something was hidden from you that kept you up in your head and worried about something or just feeling stuck, trapped, like you didn't have all the information that you needed. You got the Page of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, you were defending standing your ground about something but i'm not sure what this is all right let's get some clarification on the seven of cups please let's get some clarification oh tower moment oh okay so there's confusion here because you had options but somebody betrayed you and it caused a tower moment okay and Hmm. You didn't want this to end, whatever this was. I, you know, I'm getting a really strong message here that this queen of wands here was somebody from your past that you were in a relationship with and you kind of just both slipped away from each other. It, it was like... Nothing really went bad, but nothing really exciting happened either. You just kind of outgrew each other at the time. And once you were away from each other, you both kind of started to realize how much you felt for that person. And then this Queen of Wands married somebody else. And that's where the betrayal comes in and that's when you truly realized <clears throat> that's when you truly realized how much you felt for that queen of wands and this is what's causing all the stress this is what's you did not even know your own feelings but then you didn't know that this queen of wands had these feelings for you to the degree that they did <clears throat> and i am getting a strong sense that um they're revealing to you that they are, they're divorcing. I'm getting a really strong sense of that. Okay, let's get some clarification here, please, on the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Coin and the Sword of Truth. Okay. And they both came out in reverse. Hmm. Somebody went belly up with their finances because they didn't speak. Okay. <clears throat> this is more about independence. Somebody lost their independence because they didn't speak their truth, okay? So they married. This person married for the wrong, you know, for the wrong reasons, married the wrong person. And all they had to do was just speak up, okay? 
and this caused this oh i don't know if it was you that didn't speak up if it was them that didn't speak up but you guys didn't communicate with each other okay about how you felt <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get some clarification here on the Nine of Cups, please. Nine of Cups, this is very positive. This is a wish fulfilled, okay? But this is what you would also need in order to be happy. All right, and I think the Queen of Pentacles may do that for you, Leo. All right, let's get clarification here on the Nine of Cups. Okay, so healing, a fresh start, renewal. Okay, so maybe this person comes back around. You know, this could be you, this Queen of Wands. It is fire energy. Um, and this could be your person. And you are the one who was married. All right, so I'm getting both sides of that okay how huh, funny that i get the juggling balance um so there's it it can be either way okay for some of you you're the one that's married you married for the wrong reason and <clears throat> as much as you don't want that relationship to end you are not happy you are not satisfied Something came to light that caused a tower moment, feelings of betrayal. But you do, you've, oh. yeah, after this tower moment, you do have this sense of being, of healing, of getting um, back on your feet, you know. And I think this person from your past, it, it's actually for most of you, it's this Queen of Pentacles is the person from your past that has come forward and revealed something to you that's helping you to put your burdens down. Okay, let's get some clarification on the moon in reverse, please. What's the outcome here for... Temperance. That card has been showing up, <clears throat> excuse me, showing up here as I've been shuffling quite a bit. Okay. I'm hearing that balance is going to be restored. The Your emotions are going to be mutually shared. It's going to be equal give and take. And I'm also seeing that this is a divine... Um, event this revelation is a divine event okay sacrifices have been met, made in the past and now the truth is coming out very clear very concise there's the king of pentacles so you got a true pair i think i was reading it there's two messages here it's Okay, so one is the energy of your person for some of you that's been coming through really strong. And then the rest of you, which is where I'm at right now, this is your story from your side. Okay, so you are the king of pentacles. And the, the queen is your person. Oh my gosh. Yeah, your sleepless nights are over. You're ready to put your burdens down. Okay. Final outcome. What might the Leo Collective not see coming? This, I keep hearing, setting things right. Um, there's more to that saying. But setting things right. Um... Okay, what is it that the Leo Collective may not see coming, please? What might the Leo Collective not see coming? Okay, wow, these are a bunch of cards. These came out first, okay. 
Okay, your wish fulfilled. Victory. And feeling like the um, you have one last um, hurrah, one last battle to, to be won before you can seek sanctuary. All right, but you've made up your mind what direction you want to go in, okay? You may have to wait some time for it to happen, um, but the choice has been made. The choice has been made, and again, you've got an angel here. You've got an angel here, okay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that this is a divinely... This event has been divinely timed, first of all, so it's in divine timing, but this relationship between you and this person is protected by the divine is what I'm hearing. And it's got you feeling very passionate again, very ready to move, but you, you have to wait. You have to wait. Okay. It's going to take some time. If you notice, this is uh these are three little ships down here. Okay. So this person is patiently waiting for their ship to come in. But if you notice, this is sand. So each of these ships are, are basically dry docked right now and they have to wait for the tide to come in. So there is going to be a little bit of waiting here. It could be three months. Okay. Three, three to six months before you're able to move forward and pronounce, you know, and, and, and move forward passionately with this person. But I do see um, a wish fulfilled, success coming out of, but you've got one last battle, okay? You've got one last thing that you've got to take care of. And what I'm hearing is a divorce, um, getting out of the current re relationship, okay? And then you'll be divinely inspired to get out there. Right now you're at the crossroads. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read you the quotes from these two cards. So card 51, which adds up to six. Um, okay, so this talks about messages, deadlines, and anticipation. And the quote is from Cameron Mannheim, who created the uh, TV series, The Ghost Whisperer. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All my life, I've been waiting for my life to begin as if somehow my life was ahead of me and that someday I would arrive at it. Um, yeah, I think you may have intuitively known that this person was your person. I, I've got a... Hmm. Okay, I'm getting a message right now. And I'm being told to share this message to prepare a few, select few of you, okay? This revelation that's going to come out is that you have a child by this person, okay? And uh, you did not know about that. You knew that you wanted to be with this person, okay? But it, you, there just wasn't like this huge massive bond between you two while you were together. I mean, you felt comfortable around each other, but you just kind of grew in different directions. And it was after you kind of walked away from each other. There was no argument. There was no hate. There was none of that. You just walked away from each other. You know, you moved away from each other, <clears throat> just going in different directions in life. It was after that that this person became aware Okay, so this could be you that became aware of being pregnant, or this could be your person becoming aware of you being pregnant, and you are about to reveal to your person, okay? So that's just for a very small few of you, but I was asked to please share that because somebody needed to be prepared, okay? Somewhat prepared so that the reaction is not like an overblown um, reaction, you're going to be able to respond properly the way you want to. When we get blown out of the water, we don't even know what we're saying half the time. And that can be very hurtful. Okay, that can be very, very, very hurtful. 
All right, so this card talks about direction, purpose, objectives, and taking a first step. And the quote is from Henry David Thoreau, and it says, If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. So this means you can have exactly what you want, have always wanted. You just have to take it one step at a time. And it looks like you will be moving in the right direction. You may have some waiting time, but you are definitely heading in the right direction. Okay, and you will have success. You will have healing. You will have um, a wish fulfilled. <clears throat> Definitely. This is an intriguing message. Definitely intriguing. If you find it interesting, go ahead and uh, give it a like. If you can claim this as your own and you're very happy, I, I'm getting the sense that you're whoever, both parties involved are going to be extremely happy to, to reconnect. Okay. It's going to be very emotional, but it's going to be very, very healing. And it's going to restore balance to both lives. So this is beautiful. Okay, let me cut this deck and then I'm going to draw a couple cards for a little bit more clarification or even just um, reinforcement of the message that's out here. The world is wide open to you. Okay, and there's that number six again. So I'm thinking for some of you it's going to be closer to six months before you can move forward. Um, the way you want to okay and then we've got balancing act so number 11 which 11 angel number 11 talks about the universe has um, got a message for you okay they have a message for you and they want to make sure that you're paying attention okay so right now everything's been a balancing act I mean we've seen that the jester you know holding the two pentacles there into the unknown yeah this is going to be a, a whole different environment for you especially if there is a child involved for, for some of you um an unexpected child that is a completely different lifestyle not just getting into a relationship with somebody now you're in a relationship with a whole family i mean that is definitely going into the unknown but seven guided and divine okay lucky number seven all right and then we have card 53 which adds up to eight so you're heading in seven seven okay very lucky um but you're heading oh in six six wow okay there's a lot of synchronicities here this is definitely divinely guided okay the universe has been listening that's what i'm hearing the universe has been listening to to your pleas to your prayers if you will um to your thoughts to your feelings and it's been sounding beautiful to them and they want to see you happy yeah look at the sacred pool okay so there's an 11 again so we've got double everything here double six double eleven double seven so definitely synchronicity speaking to you pay attention to them um yeah, I think this is going to happen this week, guys. This is definitely happening this week. Ooh, this is powerful. Powerful, interesting. If it resonates with you, drop me a comment, claim it, let me know. Otherwise, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness, everyone. Bye-bye.